Hi friends, I am Arun Giri. You are most welcome to our channel Technical Concept. So our today topic is Chilled Flow Rate Calculation Thumb Rule. In this video, I will going to teach you how to calculate Chilled Flow Rate in a shortcut method. Uh, here, Chilled Flow Rate means nothing but the chilled water flow rate and the cooling water flow rate. So I will going to uh, uh, teach you how to calculate chilled water flow rate and cooling water flow rate of chiller in a few seconds by using a thumb rule okay so already i have made this video in hindi language now i am making this video in english language okay so let's start our topic so the contents of this video are how to calculate chilled water flow rate of chiller in few seconds and cooling water flow rate in few seconds that means shortcut method so first we will we'll, uh, learn how to calculate it okay the evaporator flow rate or chilled water flow rate in meter cube per hour that value we are going to uh, get in meter cube per hour is equal to 0.64 into tr so this is the thumb rule by using this thumb rule we can calculate the chilled water flow rate in few seconds okay so you are we will going to calculate by taking one example suppose we have a chiller up to 50 tr okay so for that we are go we want to calculate the chilled water flow rate so by using this our thumb rule formula 0.64 into tr uh, we will put all this value 0.64 into 50 tr this is the capacity of our chiller so after calculation we are getting 160 meter cube per hour so this is the uh, chilled water flow rate for a chiller okay now we will see cal uh, how to calculate cooling water flow rate that is condenser water flow rate so for condenser water flow rate this is the thumb rule 0.75 into TR so here our chiller capacity is 250 TR so we will put this value in, in this formula after calculation we are getting 187.5 meter cube per hour so this is the shortcut method or thumb rule for calculation of cooling water flow rate and chilled water flow rate for a chiller okay by using this formula we can calculate these two flows in a very easier way and in very short time okay so this is all about the today's video i hope you like the video if you like the video then please press the like button and subscribe the channel so thanks for watching bye bye